What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO. Gaming, we are here with how to increase your light level efficiently quick in this grind of a game called Destiny that we all love so much. Anyways guys, here we are. I'm gonna tell you guys, oh check out that sexy ship though. You get that from the black splindle, the sniper rifle, little mission quest we had to do for the daily. It's pretty damn dope. Anyways, let's get to it. So guys, the idea is first you get to your level 40, right? Then you need to get this light level up. The way you do that is with different guns that have attacks that are high and then the ghost shell which has a defense and then your armor here all this that also has a high defense so the idea is to get everything every, I believe it's all averaged out so the idea is to get everything to 310 essentially and then your your light level will be 310 which I think is the highest light level currently I will tell you guys one thing that it is very hard to get anything above 300 because you guys have to get so lucky and most of it comes from the raid uh, except for the sniper rifle which believed which was believed to be a glitch that Bungie wasn't supposed to allow the sniper rifle to drop at 310 for everyone um, and it's going to be nerfed so I'm gonna infuse this with another weapon but guys pretty much you get a gun you like a lot for example I love the red death and you'll get something with more attack, which I don't have here, but let's say I get a weapon with 310 attack or 300 attack, and I'll infuse the red death with it. Now, if the difference between the two guns or two armor, because you could do the same thing with armor, is higher, uh, or it's like it's a lot, let's say it's like 10 or 15 or 20, I believe it's just gonna take, it'll be in your favor, but it won't be like if I have a 250 gun and I infuse it with a 300 gun, it's not going to take my 250 gun and put it all the way up to 300. That's not how it works. It's going to kind of go in the middle-ish, but more towards the upper side of it. And it sucks. It really does. You have to be very strategic when you go and infuse weapons and armor and gun and whatnot. Um, I will tell you one thing that with the legendary raid coming out, you guys want to be as close to 310 as possible. I'm pretty sure the light level recommendation is going to be 310 for that raid. Um, and you know, the only things that I've gotten that are higher aside from the sniper rifle, uh, are from the raid, the 307 raid hand cannon. I have this, uh, 309 shotgun, which is awesome. I have this 306 sniper rifle from the raid. Uh, I have uh, a 299 rocket, which is obviously not from the raid. And then I have gear. Now my gear, let's see here, 291. I don't. This is the raid chest armor 305. Not bad. Um, I have uh, 307 legs from the raid, and I have 304 legs from the raid. So I'll infuse these 304s with something else, and I have the 308 hunter uh, cloak from the raid as well. Uh, I need the raid artifact to get to 310. I need the raid ghost as well. Uh, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of grinding that I have to do. Now I also tell you guys how to get. Like, let's say you get a new character, right, and you want to get that character up to uh, let's say 300 light or even higher when you guys go and do vanguard strikes keep in mind that those vanguard strikes they kind of stack up they're kind of like a buff if you don't go to orbit keep doing those heroic strikes keep doing them you'll get a buff and your loot will start to be even better so I would say do like five to ten uh, heroic strikes in a row without going to orbit and then going back and collecting your loot which is all the blue engrams that you get you know usually drop some legendary as well and what you want to do is let's say for example my character was let me just get like the lowest light stuff that I have on real fast let's say my character was like 249 light right or even lower let's say 227 light and I go and start doing those strikes and I'm getting a crap ton of blue engrams do not open all the blue engrams or the legendary engrams all together open them a couple at a time check the light if the light is higher then go ahead and equip it uh, and then boom look at that and then boom look at that okay all right i opened a couple now my lights at 251 go and open two more blues and then check the light and if they're higher connect them if they're higher connect them now i'm at 276 then go and open more blues and more blue the reason why is when the blue engrams open up it has to do with your light level it has to do with the light level that that you're currently at so when it opens up 
it, you have a higher chance of getting higher light level. But if you open everything at like 227 light, then all your gear is most likely going to suck ass. So keep that in mind, my friends. You want to also make sure that um, when you are, you know, once you get one character leveled up, like this character is at like 301 light, get grind the heroic strikes on your main character that's a high level so you can get through them fast get through them fast do the buffs that i told you guys about get all the blue engrams and then transfer them to your second character and then open up there you guys i'm really excited for the legendary raid we're gonna be hopefully world's first you know gotta keep positive gotta gotta keep that mentality set i'm gonna have, make sure my team is ready uh i'm gonna help you guys out with all the videos that i can to help you guys be ready um, and you guys can expect a lot more videos from me. I love spreading positivity. I love making this game easy for you guys, making it more efficient for you guys because it is a grind of a game, but we all love it, so don't hate on it. Uh, if you guys could, please leave a thumbs up in this video. I would love you guys so much. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because it notifies you when I upload a new video and I'm planning to upload a video every single day for Daily Destiny videos. And come say hi in the live stream. The link is in the description below. Make sure to check out my raid guides that I post, my cheeses, my PvP gameplay, trials, whatever else. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.